Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Casey Marie Hertz, and today we're going to be playing with a little bit of supine arm work. So, I wanted to show you a very easy thing that you can bring into the studio and change your straps is a carabiner. You can get these at any hardware store or hiking store. They're very sturdy. They're meant to hold a lot of weight so you can absolutely safely use them into the studio. And what I did was just take this nice little connection, this carabiner, and go ahead and attach the straps to one another. And so we have these really nice, lovely, fuzzy double straps where there's a short strap and a long strap. And so this works really well when you have those. You can use it with just a long strap, but I like using the double. So I'm going to go ahead, lay down, just like regular supine arm work. I'm gonna take our straps here that are connected and I'm gonna place my hands into the shorter straps. Now from here at the level of my wrist and forearm, I'm gonna place my hands and pull out on the straps wide. So what this is doing is creating width and challenge in my collarbone as my shoulder blades really go to the sides of the room. So I can really feel this contrast that I'm pressing out and into the straps. Now from here, you can do a little bit of up and down, which feels really nice. You could also do a little bit of tricep presses, but what I really like to do are arm revolutions. So you can go into a dynamic circle while keeping this ultimate length horizontally into the strap and try to do this without rotating the rib cage or the pelvis in a counter rotation. This seems super easy, but I'm telling you, this dynamic stability that you're having to create with the arms on the rib cage is really quite a challenge. If you wanna amp it up even more, you can always put an overball underneath the mid back or at the sacrum, but have fun with this. There's lots of different things that you can do. You can work in an arm curl, again, with some proprioceptive devices underneath the pelvis and see what variations that you come up with. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.